For this video we'll be talking about the evolution of Magneto, also known as Eric Lancer, who throughout the X-Men film series appears mainly as a villain but also as an on and off ally of the X-Men. So first we'll talk about the younger version of him, having appeared in four X-Men prequel films, all set about a decade apart from each other, with none of the characters showing signs of aging for some reason. So first we'll start with the suit that he wore in, in X-Men First Class, set in the 1960s. As a member of the original X-Men team, he wore these flight suits that were designed by Beast to withstand extreme G-forces. And the helmet that he wore, it actually belonged to Sebastian Shaw. It's an anti-telepathic helmet that was constructed by the Russians as a gift to Sebastian Shaw. And at the very end of the film, we see his transformation into Magneto and what a drama queen he is, embracing his comic book colour schemes, complete with a purple cape at the back. And then, in Days of Future Past, set in the 1970s, Magneto here has an overall different armour-plated, earth-coloured costume and helmet too, which was confiscated in a government facility and we see him retrieving it back. The cape this time is asymmetrical, just Magneto's fashion sense I guess. And we move on to the 1980s where Magneto becomes one of the four horsemen. His armour this time is an even more faithful adaptation of his comic book appearance, complete with a new helmet all of which was elaborately crafted by this veteran Egyptian fashion designer, En Sabah Noor. And then in the 1990s, during the Dark Phoenix incident, having spent the last decade living in peace, Eric no longer has any form of protective costume, he just wears his normal clothes into battle, and he wears Sebastian Shaw's old helmet with its colours faded. Now we're just going to make a comparison between his helmets here, putting them side by side and see how different they've changed throughout these four films. He just won't be Magneto without his helmet. Now we move on to the older Magneto as seen in the original X-Men trilogy and in the dystopian timeline of Days of Future Past, all played by Sir Ian McKellen. So, about the first three X-Men films, at this point Magneto probably has gotten too old to dress like a comic book character, so he goes, so he goes for a more practical appearance, wearing a Nehru suit, but he's still got a knack for theatrics, this time with a larger flowing cape, with a crimson silk lining. And then in the dystopian future timeline, Magneto is part of the mutant resistance group, so he wears a more heavily armoured black outfit, necessary for protection due to his advanced age. He's almost like a hundred years at this point. And these are the three helmets that he wears throughout the first three films. They look almost the same, just having slight differences. And in Days of Future Past, he doesn't wear one because he's not going against Charles Xavier this time, so he doesn't need an anti-telepathic helmet. And as a bonus, we will just show some other images of Eric as a little Jewish kid in a concentration camp, played by different actors in two separate films. And then this is him in his casual attire. We have to admit that other than his cheesy costumes, he does have a rather good fashion sense. The only weird thing is that he doesn't age a bit for 40 years and then suddenly poof, becomes an older man in the year 2000. And this is him as an older man in casual clothing, all of those years suddenly caught up to him in an instant, transforming from Michael Fassbender to Ian McKellen. We also see him as a prisoner in two separate occasions, both young and old one time after allegedly killing JFK and then after being defeated by the X-Men in the first film. And these are Magneto's children. We have Quicksilver and the short-lived Nina. There's Polaris from the Gifted TV series and Quicksilver again with Wanda this time from the MCU. So we've reached the end of our video. We're just going to line up all 
the different magnetos here so that you can see them side by side and comment on which one is your favorite. Thank you for watching and goodbye.